Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on the channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk about the struggling butterfly. A man found a cocoon of a butterfly. One day, a small opening appeared. He sat and watched a butterfly for several hours as it struggled to force its body through that hole. Then, it seemed to stop, making any progress. It appeared as if it had gotten as far as it could, and it could go no further. Folks, so the man decided to help the butterfly. He took a pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining bit of cocoon. Well, the butterfly then emerged easily. He emerged so easily, but it had a swollen body and small shriveled wings. But the man, all he did was try to help him. The man continued to watch the butterfly because he expected that at any moment the wings would enlarge and expand to be able to support the body, which would contract in time. Neither happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a swollen body and shriveled wings. It never was able to fly. What the man, in his kindness and his haste, did not understand was that the restricting cocoon and struggle required for the butterfly to get through the tiny opening were God's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into its wings so that it would be ready to fly uh, once it achieved its freedom. I'm sorry about the train in the back, but I hope you guys can hear me. Sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our lives too. If God allowed us to go through our lives without any obstacles, we would not be as strong as what we could have been. That is the reason for that cocoon. I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me stronger. I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve. I asked for prosperity and God gave me a brain and brawn to work. Friends, I asked for courage and God gave me danger to overcome and I asked for love and God gave me troubled people to help and I asked for favors and God gave me opportunities. I've received nothing I asked for, but everything I needed. I had uh, uh, sent this about the butterfly to a friend of mine today, and uh, I hope uh, it helped him, this story. Sorry to cut this uh, uh, short, but it is ice cold out here this morning, so I'm going to get going. Uh, but I want you to remember that God truly loves you. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And always remember, a simple smile to anyone can change that person's life and can change your life. For the person that I wrote the story about the butterfly to uh, on Facebook, I hope to God that you let the fluids of your life go through and through so that you will fly and continue to fly on your journey. Don't rush healing or any situation you might be going through.